Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, problem number 2, Gauss law. An electric field given by E is equal to 4I plus 3 times, let me write it here. E is equal to 4. So electric field is given 4i minus 3y square plus 2 times j. So it's a function of y coordinate. Okay, so it varies with y. Pierce is a Gaussian cube of uh, edge length 2 meters. So that is important. Edge length is 2 meters. And positioned as shown in figure. The magnitude E is in Newton per coulomb and the position X is in meters. So everything is in SI system. What is the electric flux through the top face, uh, then part B bottom face, then part C left face and then part D back face and then part E. What is the net electric flux through the cube? Okay, what is the net electric flux through the cube? Fine, uh, so we are given a cube here. Cube is not uh, positioned at the origin, it is displaced somewhat here. This corner of the cube is having coordinates 1, 0, 0. So x is 1, that is given in the diagram. Okay, that is given in the diagram. x is 1, y and z are 0. Then here, this one has x equal to 3. So x is 3, y and z are 0. I also uh, written coordinates of this point here. 1, 2 and 0. 1 is the x coordinate which is here. 2 is the y coordinate which is basically this side length. Okay, that side length is given uh, in the question is 2 meters. Then z coordinate is 0. Then this point, uh, again this side length is 2 meters. So this coordinate here is also 2 meters. Okay, now we are, we are to find out uh, flux, uh, electric flux through different phases. The first one is top phase. Okay, this top phase here. Now, top face, uh, direction of this top face will be this way. So, it is in y direction. So, this area has a direction which is normal to the plane of the area is in y direction. So, I can write A as for the top face, okay. Top face. I can write A as, uh, remember side length is 2. So, 2 into 2 is 4. Area is 4, magnitude is 4, and direction is positive y. So I'll write it as plus 4j unit vector. So vector uh, uh, area, area in the vector form for the top surface is plus 4j. Now, uh, what is happening to the coordinates for this uh, uh, top face? What is happening to x coordinate? Okay, x, although we don't need it, but still x is varying from 1 to 3, 1 to 3, okay. When you go from this end to this end of the face, x is varying from 1 to 3, x is varying from 1 to 3. What about y coordinate? y coordinate is fixed, that is at 2, at 2, y is fixed at 2. Now that is important for us and z, uh, z is, z again varies from 0 to 2. From this end to this end, it varies from 0, z coordinate is 0 and then to 2. So 0 to 2, 0 to 2. Again, this is not important for us. What is important for us is that for the top surface, y is fixed and is equal to 2. y is fixed and uh, is equal to. So E, electric field at the top surface is equal to 4 times i minus 3 times now y is 2 for the top surface so 2 squared is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 uh, 6 into j so this is 4 i minus 18 j this is for the top surface okay this is for the top surface now area we already know is plus 4 j uh, electric field now is 4 i minus 18 j so electric flux therefore electric flux electric flux through the top surface which is here E dot A, E dot A, field is uniform for the top surface, okay, it's constant, uniform for the top surface, surface is plane, so we can directly use E dot A, now A has only Y component and uh, uh, field has this Y component here, so it's just 14 into minus 18, which is 8 into 4 is 32, 3, 4, 1, 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 72, 
okay minus 70 everything is in SI system so this will also be an SI system Newton meter square per coulomb so flux through the top surface flux through the top surface is minus 72 Newton meter square per coulomb then part B bottom surface okay bottom surface for the bottom surface uh, the only thing that is different is that y is equal to 0 okay for the bottom surface y is 0 here at the origin y is equal to 0 so let me do that here only for the bottom face so this is part b the only thing different is y is equal to 0 so feel at the, uh, and there's one more thing uh, uh, that is different here direction of area will be a uh, downward now remember for a closed surface direction of area is outward normal okay outward normal so it will be downward so area can be written as area can be written as minus 4j minus 4j uh, area is 2 into 2 is 4 side square 4 and direction is negative y negative y so that's why minus j there now since y is 0 so field at uh, at the bottom at the bottom since y is 0 so we'll have 4i 4i minus 3 y is 0 so only 2 remains here 3 into 2 is 6 so minus 6j minus 6j so phi, flux through the bottom phase flux through the bottom phase which is e dot a so again y component is minus 4 there and y component is minus 6 here 6 into 4 24 minus minus plus newton meter square per coulomb so flux through the bottom phase is plus 24 okay this is plus 24 now plus 24 newton meter square per coulomb so we have flux through the top face and flux through the bottom face then we're asked to find out flux through the left face flux through the left face okay now part c left face let's first write down a so left face we can see here direction of left face is here direction is remember outward normal this is the direction of area for the left face that is uh, negative x that's negative x so area can be written as area can be written as side square which is 4 and the negative x so minus i minus i then we have field field in general is field in general is plus 4i 4i minus 3 times y square plus 2 into j unit vector now since area is only having x component so we don't worry about y because that is related to y component so that will anyways get eliminated so flux through the left face flux through the left face which is e dot a e dot a uh, x component here is 4 and x component here is minus 4 so this is minus 16 newton meter square per coulomb okay newton meter square per y doesn't matter here y doesn't matter here because that is y component and area does not have any y component so in the dot product that's anyways going to get uh, to be zero so this is flux through the left face minus 16 newton per meter square newton meter square per coulomb now i'll uh, find out flux through the right face here because that will need uh, in the last part where we have to find our total flux so right face area can be written as which is the only different thing from the previous one from the left face area can be shown this way this is the direction of area outward normal that is positive x okay that is positive x so area can be written as area can be written as 4i 4i and field we already know field is 4i minus 3 times y square plus 2 times j did i write it correctly y square yeah so the flux through the right face is e dot a again y, x component is 4 x component is 4 so that is plus 16 newton meter square per coulomb 
So left face flux is minus 16 and through the right face flux is plus 16. And then the next bit is back face. Back face. Now for the back face area, direction of area is this way. For the back face. So that is negative Z. That is inward. That is negative Z. So if it is negative Z, we can write area as. This is for the back face. Now part C. Back face. Area can be written as 4. Negative Z, so minus 4K. And field we already know is 4i minus 3 times y square plus 2 into j. Field does not have any z component. Area only has z component. So dot product is going to be 0. Therefore flux through the back face is 0. Same is the case for the front face. Okay, If we go for the front face. The only thing different is area will have opposite direction, 4K. Area this time will be outward, this way. Okay, area will be outward. Area will be this way. So that is positive Z direction. So plus K. Okay, plus K, 4K, plus 4K. And field we already know is 4I minus 3 times Y square plus 2 times J. Again, field does not have any Z component. Area only has Z component. So dot product is going to be 0. So flux through the front face. Front face is going to be 0. So back face flux is 0. Front face also flux is 0. And then uh, right face flux is four, uh, plus 16. Left face flux is minus 16. And then uh, top face flux is minus 72. Bottom face plus uh, flux is plus 24. Then in the last bit, we're asked to find out total flux, net flux through the, uh, 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 through the cube, through the cube. So that will be simply sum of the fluxes, sum of the fluxes through individual faces. Okay, algebraic sum of the fluxes. So minus 72 plus 24, then minus 16 plus 16, then plus zero and plus zero. So total flux through the cube, flux through the cube is first one I guess was minus 72 let me check it here only I have it here yeah top face minus 72 then the bottom face is 24 plus 24 uh, then the left face we found uh, minus 16 so minus 16 left face then the right face was plus 16 plus 16 then uh, back face 0 front face also 0 so plus 16 minus 16 will cancel out minus 72 plus 24 is minus 40 minus 48 minus 48 Newton meter square per coulomb so this is total flux through the cube total flux through total flux through the cube which is a closer surface is non zero that means there must be charge enclosure by the cube Okay, there must be some charge enclosed by the cube. Fine? So, that will do for this session.